of our most read coverage on ClickToHouston.com right now has been the answers to your questions about the coronavirus. Channel 2's Andy Cerrone is joining us now with more answers to the questions being asked tonight. Andy? Lauren and Jonathan, as coronavirus continues to spread around the world, the growing number of cases is sparking anxiety and has a lot of you asking us questions. Tonight, we're responding to some of them as doctors and scientists work to contain the outbreak and come up with an effective treatment. All coronavirus cases being tracked in the Houston area are linked to a Nile River cruise in Egypt. A KPRC2 viewer wants to know, how did they travel? What airline did they travel on? We've been asking that question to the Harris, Fort Bend, and Houston health departments since last week. While health departments around the country are sharing information about airports traveled by individuals infected with COVID-19, last night the three entities we tried getting answers from responded with a single statement that reads in part, there are no public health advisories related to airports. Being in the same building, passing by someone in an airport does not represent a risk. If a person has not been notified they sat within six feet of an infected plane passenger, they are not considered to be a risk. Another viewer asks, how long is COVID-19 viable on hard surfaces? According to the Centers for Disease Control, current evidence suggests that novel coronavirus may remain viable for hours to days on surfaces made from a variety of materials. Cleaning and disinfecting surfaces is the best practice measure for prevention. Is coronavirus contagious to pets? The Houston Humane Society says there is currently no evidence that pets can be infected, but if they're required to self-isolate, a person should avoid direct contact with pets, including petting, snuggling, being kissed or licked, and sharing food. With regards to travel, the coronavirus, and the airports, the three health departments that we've been in contact with also telling us publicly identifying a location without an immediate risk can create unnecessary alarmed public reaction. Jonathan.